What is the cooling capacity factor? The cooling capacity factor is a metric for understanding how well the cooling infrastructure is being utilized in a computer room. How can a company calculate its own cooling capacity factor? Uh, the cooling capacity factor is very simple to calculate. All that needs to be done is to determine the total installed and running cooling capacity in the computer room. And that is done by knowing the number and size of the cooling units. If there are 10 cooling units that each have a capacity of 50 kilowatts, then there's 500 kilowatts of cooling capacity in the room. And you only consider the cooling units that are running. So if one is turned off in standby, that's not included. It's the number and size of units that are running at that given time. And then you divide that number by the IT load, by how much heat is going into the room. And that's most easily determined by looking at the UPS output. To be able to calculate the cooling capacity factor is very simple and no, and no tools are required. It's simply looking at the nameplate information of the cooling units and looking at the displays on the electrical infrastructure uh, of the site. In your opinion, why is it so important to determine the CCF in the data center? It's very important to know the CCF because it's the first step in understanding how well the cooling infrastructure is being utilized. And that's very important because a data center consumes a very large amount of electricity and they have very large electric bills. And most of the power consumed by a data center is consumed by the cooling infrastructure. The equipment that cools the computers uses the most electricity. So uh, it's a very expensive, a very important resource to understand how well it's being utilized. And this cooling capacity factor gives a view as to how well it's being utilized. So if a data center determines that their cooling capacity factor is two and a half, is 2.5 or 250 uh, percent, then they know that they have two and a half times more cooling units running than are needed to support the load. So they're not utilizing that resource very well. They have a lot more cooling capacity installed than they have a need for. And that's typical in computer rooms. When we've looked at this number, done the calculations for many, many different sites over many years, um, it's typical that there's 2.5, two and a half times more cooling installed um, than there is the need. And talking about energy consumption, is there a direct link between the cooling capacity factor and the energy efficiency in the data center? Uh, there is a direct link, and the link is that, as I said before, cooling uses the most electricity of any other infrastructure system. So by determining how well that cooling resource is being utilized, there's a, a view towards understanding how um, efficiency can be improved. A number of things beyond efficiency can be improved also. Um, if you recognize that your cooling capacity factor is high, then you start to look, a data center manager would start to look, what can they do about that? And most likely what needs to happen is they need to improve the airflow management in the room. The cooling units supply conditioned cold air and how that air is managed, how well it is directed to the intakes of IT equipment is what's air, considered airflow management. And so by improving airflow management, cooling units can be turned off and that you reduces the utility bill. And also cooling unit set points can be raised, which increases the temperature in the room, which increases the efficiency of the cooling equipment. And so 
higher efficiency means more work is being done with less power. And so that improves the, uh, the utility bill. Turning off cooling units improves the utility bill. And any time you improve the utility bill, you, the data center manager, the dis data center, is reducing the amount of electricity that they're consuming. And that means that environmentally, less electricity is being produced and that reduces the CO2 emissions from producing electricity. Okay. And talking about energy efficiency, in your opinion, is it an environmental concern or does it have more to do with saving costs? Well, energy efficiency is still primarily driven by saving money. It's the bottom line of data centers. Uh, corporations around the world are most motivated by making sure that they are profitable. And if they can also be environmentally conscious at the same time, um, then it's a it's a win-win. Um, you know, it's a very overused term to say it's a win-win situation. But this truly is the case, that you can increase the efficiency, improve the environment in the computer room, uh, which improves the reliability of the IT equipment. That's another cost savings. Um, and the potential very large impact is that by improving airflow management and improving the cooling capacity factor, it's possible to delay building a new data center. And that is an enormous savings. Um, data center construction is very expensive and has a huge environmental impact. So anytime that can be delayed, it's, it's very good for both the environment and the company. And how is it possible to be more efficient in our cooling practices in the data center? The primary way is by improving the airflow management and um, raising set points. And set points mean what the temperatures are of the air returning to the cooling units and the temperature being supplied by the cooling units. And so by improving airflow management, those set points can be raised the cooling units become more efficient, and that's uh, both an environmental and a cost savings benefit.